Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are making a delicious and easy 10 minute quiche recipe. It is so good, so wonderful for brunch, lunch or dinner. Let me show you how to make it. Let's go. First thing we are going to need is a nine inch pie shell. Now what I have here is a homemade pie shell because I always have a crust in my fridge during the fall and winter. So what I did was I blind baked it. I placed it into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. So it's very important that you do that and then allow it to cool and then you are ready to move on. So what I have here is some mozzarella cheese and some sharp cheddar. I just mixed it together. I grated them both and mixed them. So I'm just going to place one layer of cheese. Then I'm going to place some Parmesan, some grated Parmesan. I'm gonna place half of this. Then what I have here is some cooked bacon. Some cooked bacon that is um, baked in my oven. It is completely cooled and it is finely chopped. Sprinkle it on top of the cheese. Okay, we'll reserve some of this. Now we will place the remaining of our grated mozzarella and sharp cheddar. And now place the remaining of your Parmesan. Now take the rest of your bacon and sprinkle it all around. Now we set this aside and we work on our egg mixture. Now before we work on our egg mixture, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I already have mine preheating in the back. Now into a bowl we are going to add in our eggs. We're going to add in our spices. What I have here is some mustard powder, black pepper, some paprika, and some salt. My family loves homemade quiche. I usually like serving it with some salad on the side. It's wonderful, it's delicious, and it's so easy to make. Perfect for lunch, perfect for dinner. You can make this any time of the day and it's going to be delicious. So let's move on. <laughs> now into the same bowl, we are going to add in some milk and some heavy cream. And we're going to give this a good whisk. This looks perfect. Now we are going to bring back our pie crust. Now we pour our egg mixture over our cheese and bacon, everything we layered. Before baking our quiche, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the spices. So when adding them in, I do definitely suggest adding in some mustard powder. It gives such great flavor. Sometimes I add it into frittatas and sometimes I add it into scrambled eggs, omelets. It's a wonderful addition to any egg mixture. So definitely buy some and have some on hand. So now we are going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes. It will become gorgeous just bubbly and all set and the edges will be a nice golden brown. I'll meet you right back here as soon as it's baked. My quiche baked for exactly 45 minutes. After about 30 minutes of baking, I lightly and loosely covered it with some aluminum foil so that the crust, the uh, top crust wouldn't become too dark. This is what I used. I just crumpled up the sides of a piece of aluminum, made like a little dome and then just covered it like this loosely while it was baking. So after 30 minutes of baking, I placed this on and allowed it to continue to bake. Once it was baked, I left it at room temperature here for about 20 minutes, and now we are ready to cut a slice and serve. We are definitely ready to try it. As I mentioned, this is wonderful served with a salad. It's perfection. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna go finish eating my slice of quiche here. You need to make this, go try it. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.